Hey dudes, CI here. So, you know, a couple weeks back I had a video about how I was crushing it on books. After a long dry spell where I was only reading books that were pretty good, I had suddenly come across a big bunch of books that were fabulous. Well, it's continuing, because I just finished Hank Green's book, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing, and it was flippin' awesome. It was so good. And the thing is, is I'd heard that it was so good, and I wasn't sure if I entirely believed it, and then it completely lived up to expectations. Now, I'm not going to give you any spoilers, because you might want to read it, but I just will, I will say that, uh, as you've probably heard, a great deal of it is a sort of a, a lot of thinking about fame and what it does to a person, and whether a person can truly stay a, a human being when they get that sort of fame, or do they become something different that is no longer entirely human? That's a big part of it, that sort of, those thoughts. But there's this entirely other part of it. There's this entire, you know, plot that is separate from that, and it's wonderful. And I loved it, and I highly recommend it, and I'm really excited to know that there's a sequel coming up. Now, a really good question that would come up right now is, who do I prefer, Hank Green or John Green? Well, John Green's got four or five or six books. I think I've read at least four of his books by now. I've only read the one Hank Green book, but right now, I almost got to say Hank seems like a little more of my style. John Green books are very philosophical, very deep, very literary. Some people might even call them a little pompous. And they haven't always sat well with me. This last one that I read, Turtles All the Way Down, that was my favorite John Green book. But Hank Green's a different thing. Yeah, he gets a little philosophical talking about, you know, what it means to be a human and what fame can do to that. But in a lot of ways, the story wasn't philosophical at all. In a lot of ways, it was a story. It was an exciting tale. It was an adventure. It was a mystery. And John Green doesn't always give that. Oh, sure, I guess Paper Towns kind of had a mystery going on there, but eh, it didn't... I don't know. Not the mystery like this one was. This one was a real adventure. And I don't feel like John Green really gives us adventures. Now, I don't for a second want to say that I think John Green's a bad writer, because I think he's a great writer. I'm just thinking, if I had a personal preference that suits my taste, who do I like better? Mm, I like the stories that are kind of adventures. I like the stories that are fun. And right now, with only one book to his credit, Hank seems to be setting up on that corner. John Green's got his corner that he's on, and Hank is more into the adventure and excitement and awesomeness. And I like that. So, yeah, an absolutely remarkable thing. Read it, and you decide for yourself whether you think that you, you're a Hank guy or a John guy. I don't feel like this is a war where you have to choose sides, but it's still, it's an interesting question. Who do you like better, Hank or John? And can we really judge Hank with only one book to his credit? Maybe we should wait until he's got two before we decide. Who knows, maybe he can't follow up. Maybe the second one won't be so good. But, after reading the first one, I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic. So anyway, that's my thing. You got any thoughts on it? Let me know down below. And I'll see you next week.